Facebook face or TikTok, we will be ruined. No, sir, that's not gonna happen. That rodent is toast. Hey, whoa! Oh, that's Donner. Lucky it wasn't Blitzer should tear your package clean off. It was that we're going to? The darkest reaches of Davy Jones' locker. Okay. A business deal that went sour. Plus, I made the mistake of sleeping with his sister. What's going on out there, YouTube land and all social media lands? Welcome to an all new video. So, in this video, we're going to be doing a all new video haul. I know it's been a while since I did one. Thought I would finally put one up, give you guys a little insight into a few new purchases I've recently got. Some cool stuff, some new stuff, some anniversary stuff. Just some really cool uh, new additions to the collection, if you know what I mean. So we're going to get right into that. But before we do that, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on this video and the other videos I put up. And as always, make sure you hit that bell notification button too as well so that you're alerted when new videos pop up. And as always, people, if you enjoy my content and want to check out my other social media lands, definitely check out these other social media lands such as Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram, where I also post cool stuff as well. So definitely check those out as well. And as always, people, let's get right into this. So welcome one and all to an all-new video. So like I was saying before, we're going to be doing an all-new video haul from some great new purchases I've just recently got that are just a lot of fun, really collectible, really cool, and some anniversary edition kind of stuff too. So it's going to be really awesome. So let's get right into it. So the first film I'm going to talk about is actually a three-film collection that I got from the Disney Movie Club and is of a great set of films. One of them I haven't seen. The other two, it's been forever since I've seen them, but they're just a really great uh, couple of films together that are just really enjoyable. And that happens to be the awesome collection of the Best of Mickey from the Disney Movie Club. Yeah! So this features the original awesome Fantasia film, which came out in 1940, which is a really fantastic film. I forgot how actually long this film was. It's actually over two hours long for a cartoon film back in 1940. That's pretty long for a cartoon film, especially from Disney at the time. That I, I was really impressed because there's so much artwork and stuff that went into that film that it's just really impressive. So it's this is the first time I've actually ever owned it on Blu-ray, so I'm really happy and excited to have this in this collection. It also comes with Fantasia 2000, which I've only seen it once. It was enjoyable. I mean, you could definitely see the difference between that and the original Fantasia. The original Fantasia still, by far, is the better of the two, but still, Fantasia 2000 is really enjoyable. Then also comes with one that I have never seen, which is called Celebrating Mid Mickey, which basically is a whole bunch of like of his shorts and just kind of giving uh, remembrance to Mickey on his you know birthday basically. I mean I can't believe you know Mickey was you know created in 1923, so it's kind of crazy to think that he's almost a hundred years old. So it, it's really crazy to think you know how much he's been through. But this is I've heard this is a really fun. I thought it was a great addition to this collection. So I didn't mind that it was a part of it. But I got this actually from the Disney Movie Club. And I was really impressed by it. It was a really great deal for three movies. Especially Fantasia being one of its first times on Blu-ray. Uh, and just a really cool and awesome uh, addition to my collection. I, I've been wanting Fantasia for many years. But one of the great things about these is they come with a whole bunch of great special features. Fantasia itself comes with the uh, notebook, a Disney treasure reveals movie secrets about the film. You got Disney View, which is basically kind of like gives you uh, after the facts type of deal. Then you got Walt Disney interviews and story note recre recreations with audio commentary, which is really cool. You got deleted animation, story reels, and more, so which is really awesome. The Fantasia 2000 comes with an animated short that came out in 2003 called Destino. It also comes with Dolly and Disney, a date with Des uh, that Destino docu uh, film, called, uh, and it's a documentary. Then you got uh, Musicana, which is Walt's inspiration for a sequel to Fantasia. Then you got audio commentary, alternate endings, and more as well. Then included in that celebration of Mickey, which like I said, it's uh, several different shorts. You get Steamboat Willie, The Band Concert, Through the Mirror, Mickey's Rival, Boat Builders, Mickey's Trailer, 
Brave Little Taylor, Tugboat Mickey, The Little Whirlwind, Mickey's Birthday Party, Pluto's Party, The Simple Things, and Get a Horse. So that's just really cool. A lot of great shorts. I absolutely love the Taylor one. Uh, Mickey, uh, The Brave Little Taylor is such a great one. Uh, Mickey's Trailer is also an excellent little mini short too as well. It's just really awesome. So this is just a really cool collection. I'm glad to finally, like I said, have Fantasia part of my collection, Fantasia 2000. And I'm really looking forward to checking out those shorts of Mickey 2 and celebrating Mickey, which was a really great addition to this awesome trio of uh, films here. Uh, really looking forward to it and glad to have it in my collection. The next film I ended up picking up recently is a great new film that just came out this past year and was originally slated for theaters but ended up going directly to HBO Max because, of course, of the pandemic. And this movie I was really impressed with. I really enjoyed it. Uh, if you haven't seen my review about it, definitely check that out. And this movie just had a really good cast from Ken Jeong, Michael Pena, Chloe Grace Mertiz. And it was just a really great reintroduction to these great animated classic cartoon characters. And that, of course, is the Tom and Jerry movie. Oh, yeah. Tom and Jerry. Oh, yeah. I absolutely loved this film. I thought it was so good. Everyone involved was really awesome. And I loved how they incorporated Tom and Jerry into this. And how they made it classic Tom and Jerry, which was just on perfection for their talent and I thought it was just a really great reintroduction to them. Uh, you just had some really great artwork done and I loved how they were animated. I liked that it was still the animation but it still looked very contemporary and into like being realistic like these are real characters in real life too as well. Uh, but this is just a really great movie. I was happy they finally picked this up on Blu-ray and DVD. I guess it did not get a 4K release which I was really sad but still I'm glad at least they gave it a Blu-ray release. This was put out by Warner Brothers Home Entertainment. And this comes with some, actually, some great stuff. It comes with deleted scenes, a gag reel. Uh, love gag reels. Come in, bringing Tom and Jerry to life. Tom and Jerry's world. The feud, Team Tom versus Team Jerry. Jerry's a house for a mouse. The Tom and Jerry Guide to New York City. Wildlife. Oh. Then you got Inside the Wedding of Ben and Prita which was really awesome part of the film. Uh, hilarious, fun, a great part of the story. Just made the film really entertaining. And then a scene comes to life, which I basically think that's basically like a breakdown of just how they made one of the scenes with Tom and Jerry and the live-action people together, which I think is really cool. But this is such a great movie. I'm so glad to have this in my collection finally. Uh, it's such a fun film, especially if you're a big kid at heart or if you really enjoy Tom and Jerry, definitely check this out. It's worth the watch. So next up on the roster that I picked up is a all-new Scooby-Doo cartoon movie. Uh, that is a sequel to one of the ones I did in the early 2000s. And I actually haven't seen this, but I definitely wanted to check it out. It was, you know, one of those cheap Walmart bins for $5. And it just looks really fun. I enjoy the Scooby-Doo films, and they're just... Uh, usually they're done really well for what they are. And then, of course, I got I ended up picking up Scooby-Doo in the Return to Zombie Island original movie. Ooh, yeah. So once again, they return to the island that they happened to come upon in the first Zombie Island film. Like I said, I'm really looking forward to checking this out and seeing what it's all about. I love that, you know, of course, Frank Welker returned to do the voices as he does. Uh, Matthew Willard plays Shaggy in this one, which is really fantastic. He's amazing as Shaggy. Uh, then you had Greg Griffin, Kate uh, Mucci, uh doing their voices to us, two of the characters. This also comes with some special features such as the new Scooby-Doo mystery episode, Ghost of the Ancient Astronauts Part 1. And then What's New Scooby-Doo episode, Mummy Scares Best. So it comes with two additional episodes along with the film, which is really cool. But uh, the artwork and the animation, this looks really well done in this. It looks very similar to the original Zombie Island film. Uh, looks like your classic Scooby-Doo, uh, you know, cartoon look and everything. Uh, I'm just look, looking really forward to uh, checking this out. But also, I'm glad I added this collection. I just always enjoy having the Scooby-Doo films around. Because I just think they're fun, enjoyable. And uh, I don't believe this got a Blu-ray release. I'm not sure. If it did, let me know in the comments. But for five bucks, I thought, why not give it a try? So looking forward to checking it out. So next up uh, that I picked up is a kind of like a holiday film, it's considered. But it's more of a black comedy, dark comedy type of film uh, that has a really great cast. And that, of course, stars Mel Gibson, Walton Goggins, and Mary Ann Jean Baptiste. And that is, of course, the film called Fat Man. Oh yeah, 
Fat Man. So Fat Man, if you're not familiar with, is basically like he's supposed to be Santa Claus, and he's like like almost like an evil drug dealer type of deal thing. Uh, the trailer for this looked really awesome and fun. Uh, I love Walton Goggins. I think he's amazing. I love Mel Gibson. And this is just something that looked really good, so I thought I'd pick it up and check it out. I haven't watched it yet, but, it, I mean, for 12 bucks, I couldn't pass it up on Blu-ray with the digital, too, as well. Uh, and it comes with some great, great special features, such as deleted and extended scenes, uh, storyboards to film, and, of course, audio commentary with the writer-directors and stuff like that. But just the whole concept of this movie just seemed really uh, bizarre and fun. And just, like, a whole new take on Santa Claus himself. So I thought that was just a really cool, you know, thought and, and stuff like that. Uh, you know, and like it says, revenge never takes a holiday. So I think that was really great, too. So really looking forward to checking this out and see what it's all about. Uh, came out in 2020. Uh, just looks like a really fun film. Can't wait to watch it, and I'm glad I have it in my collection. All right, so the final film that I picked up recently is a great film. It's for its 20th anniversary. Uh, it's actually a steelbook, 4K edition of it, finally. And this movie, I just was so ecstatic to find out that it's getting a 4K release. Uh, the steelbook was an awesome, uh, amazing edition, and it just is such a great film. I can't believe it's been 20 years since this film came out on in theaters and so forth. Just a really fun film. And that, of course, is the Steelbook 20th Anniversary Edition and 4K upgrade of The Fast and Furious. Oh, yeah, the original classic. Ooh, especially with Fast 9 coming out. I was so ecstatic that this was coming out for its 20th anniversary. I think that's really awesome. But this is just a really good-looking Steelbook. It's, uh, I don't have many Steelbooks, but this is a great new addition to my Steelbook collection, which I thought was really well done. Uh, it just, it, it's really amazing looking. I love the artwork. I love the additional photos that they added to it and stuff like that. Just thought it looked really good. Uh, but this basically comes with all the same special features as the other recent release of on the Blu-ray. I believe it comes with a few extras, like some extra scenes, deleted scenes, and so forth. comes with a new documentary and stuff like that. Uh, just really impressed with this. It looks really pristine and awesome. Uh, I think that's a great cover. Of Vin Diesel and Paul, the great late Paul Walker. Uh, you know, Paul Walker, I don't know if you, uh, how much you know about him, but I mean, pretty much every single movie, he did his all his own pretty much stunt driving. And I thought that was an amazing feat by him, and I thought that was really got awesome. And uh, this movie just was so much fun. I loved the whole idea behind it. Such a young Vin Diesel in it. Uh, Paul Walker pretty much looked the same throughout pretty much all the films up until I see the last couple. He finally started to age, uh, but this is such a great movie, and uh, I'm so glad to get this 4K upgrade too as well because it, it just looks so amazing in 4K. The colors are so bright, the sound sounds amazing, the restoration looks awesome too, and you would never guess this movie is 20 years old. Really well done by Universal, and uh, really amazing uh, feat there. And I still can't believe it's been 20 years. But if you haven't picked this up yet, definitely pick it up, people. It's worth the buy. Uh, amazing addition to your Steelbook collection if you do Steelbooks. Really awesome and fun. Definitely worth the buy. So that's it for this video haul, guys. As always, thank you for watching. Thank you for liking. Also, thank you for subscribing. And if this is your first time here or you have been here before, don't forget to check out any older newer videos you're not missing about yet. And as always, people, check out my awesome links down below. Especially if you want to show some love or some fandom, definitely check out my Patreon page where I post exclusive things that you can see before the fil my film releases or just upcoming stuff that I might be doing and also bloopers, outtakes, and all that kind of fun stuff. So definitely check those out too, people. They're pretty fun. And as always, see you in the next one!